Hey everybody, how's it going? Today, let's take a detailed look at the all new 2013 Subaru XV Crosstrek Limited. And this is going to be a detailed, in depth review of the Crosstrek. We'll start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip, and go over the performance data, as well as show you a bunch of the unique aspects of the interior as well as exterior. Now, I'd like to give a special thanks and shout out to Bob Dunn Subaru in Greensboro, North Carolina, for allowing me to come out and film the all new 2013 Crosstrek. And so, without further ado, let's go and start her up, let her run. The exterior color is known as Satin White Pearl and features a light tan leather interior with black accenting. You gotta love that unique boxer burble. The 2013 XV Crosstrek is actually based on the all-new redesigned Subaru Impreza, including its engine as well as transmission choices. More on that in just a little bit. Standard, electrically assisted power steering, very smooth, leather wrapped with nice soft leather and limited trim, sporty three-spoke design with black painted inserts coming across the steering wheel as well as mild silver accenting. Now as far as transmission choices, there's two different options. Standard cross tracks come with a 5-speed manual gearbox, or for convenience and a little bit more efficiency, you can also have this continuously variable automatic gearbox, otherwise known as CVT. There's also manual shifting via the paddle shifters mounted behind the steering wheel with simulated gears. And while this particular one doesn't actually come with the optional navigation system, it does come with an LCD mobile media interface in the center with integrated backup camera with guidance lines. And so we're going to cut on the automatic headlamps, fog lamps, as well as the hazards. Driver side windows, fully automatic. And we're going to check out the exterior, shall we? For 2013, Subaru has set out to create an all new model that's based on its popular Impreza lineup. The Crosstrek is designed to combine crossover practicality, off road ability, and still be fun to drive in day to day city driving. While basic underpinnings and interior styling heavily relate to the Impreza, the body styling is what's really meant to set it apart. Everything has been designed for a purpose, whether it be to increase cargo space, give it a better all-weather profile, or enhance its athletic nature. It still retains many Subaru unique styling, including the hexagonal grille and angular headlamps. Hood accents blend nicely into the grille, while available fog lamps down below are recessed nicely into the front fascia. Overall, this gives the Crosstrek a familiar profile, its styling is still unique, adventurous, and even pumped up if you will. But in the end, the Subaru is still a Subaru and fits well in the stable with its Impreza brethren. The XV Crosstrek's flared fenders accent a standard set of 17-inch black accented aluminum alloy wheels wrapped in 225-55 all-season tires. Being that the vehicle is indeed larger than a typical Impreza, it's fitted with larger 11.6 inch ventilated disc brakes up front and 10.8 inch solid steel discs in the rear that can stop from 60 to 0 at around 122 feet. Now the main question is what really makes the Crosstrek different from the Impreza? To start off, it rides about 3 inches higher giving it a total ground clearance of 8.7 inches. 
the A pillar was brought forward about 7.9 inches to maximize interior room, and the suspension has also been finely tweaked and beefed up to withstand the increase of abuse you're likely to see off road. Now the cross trek most closely resembles the Mitsubishi Outlander Sport as far as overall practicality goes, but this particular vehicle in my opinion has a better overall package profile and refined nature than the other one does. Now, you can attribute this size and crossover style also to the Nissan Juke as well as the Mini Cooper Countryman. While those two vehicles also, I think, have a little bit more of a sporty or more performance-oriented driving style, they also don't have quite as much of the practicality and interior space as this particular vehicle does, so it really depends on what you're looking for in a vehicle. Now, Subaru's symmetrical all-wheel drive system is also standard on the Crosstrek, but differs in its nature between the CVT or Linear Tronic transmission and the manual offered. With the CVT, it features an electronically controlled multi-plate clutch with torque split between the front and rear 60-40. Manuals have a bevel gear type center differential with viscous coupling limited slip differential and torque split 50-50 front and rear. The rear of the Crosstrek is accented by a rear diffuser style clip with a recessed exhaust for a nice, clean, smooth look out back. Overall length is 175.2 inches with a width of 70.1 inches and a height of 63.6 inches. Total curb weight is around 3,164 pounds. So we're going to pop the hood. The all new Crosstrek is powered by Subaru's new FB series 2 liter dual lever head cam 16 valve horizontally opposed or boxer 4 cylinder. With aluminum block and heads, it now comes with variable valve timing and exhaust valve timing to broaden the power curve. Power rates at 148 horsepower at 6200 RPM and 145 foot pounds of torque at 4500 RPM. 0 to 60 times are an estimated 8.8 .8 seconds with a quarter mile time of 16.6 .6 seconds at 81.5 miles per hour. The manual transmission differs only by being a couple tenths quicker and retains the same top speed of 116 miles per hour. As far as fuel economy, the XV gains a larger 15.9 gallon tank for increased range, and on regular gas, expect between 23 City 30 highway and use an 89 octane for maximum performance. Suspension consists of independent McPherson struts in front with a dual wishbone setup in the rear, all with coil springs and anti-roll bars. Overall, the Crosstrek's interior is designed mainly for functionality without having too many ancillary features and being very user functional. When you step it on up to the limited trim, you have a little bit of luxury features, namely the leather seating, including the perforated leather door trim, but you also have automatic headlamps, fog lamps, automatic climate control, and a few other goodies. Also for a vehicle in this segment, build quality is also quite nice. Tight fitting door panels, you also have a nice use of padded material on all the touch points, definitely where it counts the most, including your door armrest here, the perforated trim coming across the middle here, as well as a soft touch trim coming across the doors, as well as all of the main parts of the dash. All of your power windows, power locks, power mirrors. Now as far as the seating, specifically in the Limited, it's also really quite comfortable. The upgraded leather bucket seats feature very soft grain leather, definitely feels a lot higher quality than you expect for the price point. Manual adjustments located down below, including your height adjustment. You also have a nice amount of bolstering coming across the bottom and the top for increased lateral support. Plenty of padding to fit all body contours, especially up top in the upper back portion. Adjustable headrests, adjustable seat belts, as well as side airbags. Standard driver knee airbag for a little bit of increased safety as well as a full manual tilting telescoping steering wheel. A sunroof is also available. So let's go and see if she sounds. One of my favorite parts about Subaru vehicles is that signature note from that boxer four cylinder. A little bit of that characteristic burble.
and we're going to shut her up. Soft closing doors. Now standard equipment on the Crosstrek includes a six speaker audio system with a standard LCD color mobile media interface. An optional navigation system touchscreen unit is also available, but this particular one comes with HD radio and in dash CD player, as well as iPod auxiliary integration. Pretty good audio quality as well. Side curtain airbags. What's also nice about the Crosstrek are these little quarter windows up here for increased visibility past the front end. Auto damming rear view mirror with integrated compass. And in the top stack here, you have your microphone for your hands free Bluetooth telephone and your interior illumination. Now, part of the Limited, you also have an automatic climate control system, nice and easy to use, temperature off to the right, zones off to the left with front defrost, rear defrost, automatic, as well as your fan speed in the middle with recycling. You also have little rubber touch points on each of the buttons, and a little bit of chrome accenting, looks a little bit fancier and feels nice to use. Now, as far as the radio, it's really quite simple to use. If you look up top here, your HD radio stations will show up, for this particular station I'm on right now, there's two, and to go in between them, you just click the HD tag, or HD tag button. You can also tag the songs through HD radio, so you can later purchase them through iTunes. All of your radio modes off to the left here, CD, auxiliary, USB, hands-free Bluetooth streaming of audio, and the like. All of your preset stations are located down below there, as well as all of your song information in the middle. Off to the right, seek scan, list the categories, there also doubles as the back button for the different radio menus. Radio text, and access your menu through the tune button. Turning the screen off. Go between your sound settings, tone, balance, speed compensated volume. Surround sound. As you can see, all pretty simple and easy to follow. And then your back button. Bluetooth audio setup, and other miscellaneous settings, restarting the system as well as turning your HD radio on and off. Overall, that's all the basic functions of this particular system. Pretty simple and straightforward. Up top, you also have a little driver info system with outside temperature, clock, as well as fuel readouts. As you come down the center console, all has a brushed, dark finish to it. Almost gives the appearance of more of an aluminum type texture. A little bit of storage up top with your 12 volt power outlet. Two cup holders, modest storage, leather wrap D brake, as well as two stage heated seats for both the driver and passenger. Padded center console, your auxiliary, USB, 12 volt power outlet, and a modest amount of storage space. Cruise control located on the right hand side of the steering wheel, while all of your radio controls and hands free telephone controls are on the left hand side change the different radio modes, as well as hands-free voice dialing. Welcome to the hands-free phone system. The hands-free system enables usage of the mobile phone without needing to handle the phone. To operate, use voice recognition and the audio control knob. Before using the hands-free system, a phone needs to be paired. After pairing to use the system, push the talk switch and say a command after the beep. Please keep in mind that the help command may be used at any time. Entering phone setup to begin the pairing process. And I'll just kind of walk you through the system as such. As well as a nice, simple instrumentation cluster. Little driver info system with trip computer and fuel in the middle. Alrighty. Alright, shut her down. And we'll check out the back seat. As far as the segments of small crossovers go, rear seat room for the Crosstrek is excellent. Nice wide opening doors, same two-tone color scheme coming up across the back, as well as plenty of soft touch materials, notably on the doors as you saw in the front. The perforated trim, a little bit of storage down below, 
The back seats also have the ability to fold down. If you pull up on this little toggle switch here, it'll come down. There's a little all-weather portion on the back, so you don't have any cloth or anything like that that could be damaged by loading up cargo to the front seats. And while it does ride higher than a standard Impreza, it doesn't really feel like that tall of a vehicle when you're getting into it. Nice seamless motion getting in. You don't really have to climb up on top of anything, and if anything, it almost feels like you just kind of fall into the seat. Plenty of padding. Nice, soft, comfortable in the back. Little coat hooks. Now I'm about 5'10", and with a comfortable seating position for myself up front, I easily have probably three and a half, close to four inches of leg space. There's a little cutout here for taller passengers, and as far as head space, probably about three inches or so. Interior illumination. Enhanced visibility thanks to a little bit of quarter windows in the back. And there's also some side curtain airbags for the rear passengers so everybody's nicely protected. You also have a little fold out armrest, also nicely padded with integrated cup holders. And we're going to check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we? In the back, the Crosstrek offers 22.3 cubic feet of cargo space with the seats up. There's some rear illumination that you can turn on as well as a cargo cover. Spare tire is located underneath the load floor. Fold the seats down and it greatly expands to 51.9 cubic feet. This is partly thanks to how flat the seats lay, helping get every bit of storage space possible. To follow up on the practicality I mentioned earlier, that's 15 more cubic feet than the Nissan Juke and 10 more than the Mini Countryman. Manually adjusting passenger seat as well, only it doesn't have the height adjustment of the driver's seat. Pretty reasonable size glove box. Not really wide necessarily, but extends back a good ways. The Crosstrek is every bit of traditional Subaru, spiced up for the modern age. With a nimble suspension, choice of transmissions, advanced all-wheel drive, economy, and a rugged outlook, the XV is designed to tackle the jobs required by any Subaru lover. Off-road performance and practicality without sacrificing driving enjoyment. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this in-depth look at the all-new 2013 Subaru XV Crosstrek. Be sure to stay tuned next time, there's a lot more where that came from. Take care everybody.